Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? Good old Monday morning, and guess what? It's 30 degrees. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> yeah, so we're heading to the tractor, going by this field right here that we got to hit first thing this morning. That's that real bad feel. Man, them sapping the trees was bad on that dish bank. Okay, we have arrived. And it looks like we're gonna have to get some windows stalled out this morning. Oh yeah, yes indeed. Can't see a thing out of those side windows, our main windows. Let's fire her up. Let's hit the windshield wipers. Oh, dirty windshield. Here we go. All right, we're going to get it turned to where it needs to be. Over here. All righty. All right, I'm going back to the heat. Wouldn't you say? <laughs> All right, then let's uh let's head on to the field. All right, you guys. So we have arrived. I'm on the road side of the um, field. Of course, I'm gonna hit the the ditch pass and everything out here first. While I'm out here. As we move along, you will see those sapling trees that are growing up outrageously on the inside of the ditch bank. Like I said, I, I had bush hog around this field. I think it was the last video of 2021. Y'all did uh, know that I had a little bonus footage after that, but yeah, we're working on this field here. So I'm backing up now, reaching across the ditch a little bit. If I can cut those sapling trees there, I most definitely won't be running over. I don't think I'm gonna try and run over any of those to try and get on the ditch bank. So that's why I'm gonna try and get as much from this side as possible. Marcus I remember the state long arm cutter cut it off we can do for the road side.
the baddest spot though. Woo! That was a struggle. That was a struggle indeed. down a little bit so it's not so much sticking up oh yeah but I still wouldn't want to run over something like that oh man that little one strand Gonna try to be a hassle, ain't it? Come here. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go on down here to this next rough patch. I'm gonna try and mulch some of this stuff up so I can try and get a little closer to the ditch bank. Cause like I said, I don't like running over stalks that's sticking up too high. And it's getting it mulched down to the ground pretty good. But I don't wanna take no chances, so I'm gonna let it eat. I'm gonna let it eat as much as possible before I try to get closer to them trees that's still standing up over there.
you guys we were able to get it y'all see me doing some crazy pattern that's because i'm dodging trying to dodge those little stobs that's sticking up that i can see very clear that it hadn't been cut good but we got it you guys we got her that indeed was some heavy duty mowing for the side cutting good deal good deal So I guess I'm gonna continue to work on this field and uh, I'll check back in in a few, you guys. All right, you guys, we done with that field and now we can say it. Look at them ditches. <laughs> Don't look the same. It does not look the same. And there's the ditch we did on Friday. I don't know, people like the litter on this road real bad for some reason. But anyway, we're off to our next destination. All right, you guys, I got a little tiny portion to do right here. I'm going to knock this out right quick, and uh, I'll check back in. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this little tiny, 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 tiny piece of a field. We're going to head on to the next farm. Hi, horsies. All right, you guys, so I've arrived to the next farm farm all right fella <laughs> and uh i'm gonna work on it a little bit actually when i was at the farm that was like real badly grown up dan had came by and let me carry my truck to another farm and he actually wants me to mow around some of the fields where we planted uh the wheat and the rye now that it's dry i can make a few passes around it without tearing up the field of course we wouldn't do anything with the long arm cut in those fields for the fact of dropping big limbs and having to push them out of the way. But uh, with the side cutter here, I'll be able to make a few passes around it and uh, that way it won't grow up during this next growing season and be raggedy and rough like that field that we mowed earlier. So I finished this field and I'm just looking out here. My, 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 my. Looks like the neighboring children have turned the wet hole in this field into an ATV bogging pit. Oh my goodness, Lord have mercy. I tell you, you would think, you would think that the father would know better since he likes to plant gardens and grow beautiful gardens. <laughs> you would think he knows that this is a, a farm that we try to keep level and plant it. But anyway, I'm done. I'm not gonna say anything else. <laughs> So you guys, I've been mowing in this field here and across the road is a rye field that I was speaking of earlier that I guess I'll be mowing around quite a few of those now that it's dry. Right now I'm mowing around a soybean field. But you look across the road there and those ditches are calling for us. <laughs> I wasn't able to hit those ditches with the bush hog like this one right here. This is my first pass on this ditch and as you can see it's not bad. That's because I was able to hit it with the bush hog some. But anyway, yeah, that's where, ooh, where, where? I said that's will. That's where we'll be heading next. So I'm gonna get this field knocked out and I'll check in when we get over there, all right? All right, you guys, so I'm on the roadside of the soybean field that's over here that we just left from. I'm only gonna make one pass because they have this dirt heaped up here on the side of the road. I don't wanna run over it in case they be trying to use it to level the road again. But uh, one pass over here would be good. And then, like I said, we'll have to start over here on this side where we have the rye planted. Let me run my arm out. I'm thinking that I might go ahead and try and reach across the ditch there. Uh, and then I'll back up because backing up, I can clean up the ditch better on this side backing up. So yeah, I think I'm going to reach across there a little bit. And uh, we're going to work on this ditch. I guess I can try and get as much as possible from this side. And then this way, I'm not tracking back and forth as much in the rye over there. We are 
are coming finally to the end of this ditch. <laughs> back up and I'm gonna lay it down in the ditch like I was saying because it's easier to see and it cuts it better where I switched over to the other side so I think I'm gonna try and reach a little further over if I can save myself a trip up high on the bank that'll be good but I don't know Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get it all. I'm riding in the ditch right now. And the other thing is, going forward, this thing likes to dig going forward. Whenever it's leaning hard like this. Let's see. cleaning it up like I like it to. Ah, that big area like that right there, be nice to have been able to hit that with the bush hog. A lot of backing up and maneuvering around poles over there. But we're yet working on it. We are yet working on it. All right, we're going in now. We're going in. Gotta get it from the inside. Oh, the sun's shining right at us too, ain't it?
hey, hey, can we say it? We getting our lean on, we in the ditch. Look at them ditches. <laughs> that was a lot of work, wasn't it, you guys? Man, but we got it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, all that tracking back and forth, and we didn't put any ruts in the rye field. So it's a good deal. It's a good deal. Yes, indeed. We did a good job, you guys. We got it looking good out here. You can barely see any tracks. Barely see anything, do you? Uh-huh. Good job, you guys. Good job. <laughs> all right, you guys. So now... I'm working around the wood side of the field and I'm actually going to get ready and wrap the video on up. And that's because I have an eye doctor appointment today. And you know what? I'm going to tell you a little something about that. Um, I was originally supposed to have an eye doctor's appointment in November, but they had to keep rescheduling it. And I was wondering why. I didn't know what was going on. So I finally asked him and said, uh what's going on why you keep pushing my appointment back and this was back in december so I, she told me she said that my my eye doctor wasn't doing too well as a matter of fact it was almost life and death situation and so i told her i said man i'm gonna be praying for my eye doctor that he is healed in Jesus name. I don't know what was going on. You know, it was kept confidential, but I, I told her, the receptionist, I'm going to be praying for her. And I put on, uh, put him on the, the prayer list at church as well. And uh, the fact that we had to keep rescheduling it, I said, you know what? I got to go to another eye doctor because I need, I need some contacts because you can't get any new contacts without having, um, an uh, end date prescription and I mean nobody would let me have any contacts just to hold me over so I had to reschedule it at a at a different eye doctor that was supposed to be today at 2 30 so I called my eye doctor the one I normally go to so that they can fax the information over to the one that I was gonna go to and when I called today the receptionist said Oh, we got you scheduled for next Monday at three something. And I was like, oh, I already rescheduled uh, appointment at a different place for today. And uh, I said, is, is, is doctor doing better? And she said, yeah, <laughs> I guess he's back to work, you guys. So I said, hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah, he's back to work. But I was still deciding on whether or not I wanted to wait till next Monday or go to the the new place today and uh she said she told me she said well if you want to be seen we'll fit you in today at three at 3 45 so i said you know what since i've been going to you guys for the longest and even she said that you've been coming here for so long we we would hate for you to have to go somewhere else i said well if you can schedule me today for three something <laughs> I'll cut off the other appointment and I'll see you at three today. So <laughs> I just wanted to give that, that testimonial there, that praise report. I thank God that my eye doctor is doing better. And I, I guess I'm gonna talk with him today and see what was going on. I, I will keep it confidential, but I just wanted to just give that hallelujah praise report for him doing better. <laughs> and uh, wow, I know this video supposedly was supposed to be short because I was having a short day today, but it's still a long video. Y'all know how we do. <laughs> but anyway, man, another thing I want to thank you guys. Uh, I put it in a comment, but I, I hadn't said anything in a video yet because I haven't done a new video since last Friday. So Sister Catherine's father passed, went on to be with Jesus. Thank God that he was saved. He was saved, praise the name of the Lord. So he's resting with Jesus. He's resting with Jesus. And uh, we wanna continue to keep the family lifted in prayer, you know, during this time, that they'll be comforted by the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, and the funeral that 
I preached on Saturday went well. Thank you guys for your prayers for that as well. So, hey man, like I always say, you guys, you guys are prayer warriors. Excuse me, I had to burp. Ugh, I got to burp. I guess I was talking so much. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I thank you guys for just all of your prayers, man. All of your prayers. You guys are awesome. Um, Sister Cat, you continue to be encouraged in the Lord, all right? You and your entire family. Yes, indeed. I had the privilege to pray with her um, a couple of days ago. So, thank God. Hey, thank God for prayer, man. Thank God for prayer. I thank God for you YouTube subscribers and those of you who watch on Facebook as well. God bless you all. I appreciate you all. I hope that you've been enjoying the, <laughs> the Beaver Dam footage from the field trip. Let me tell you guys a secret. I know I shouldn't be uh, telling you everything, but anyway, those videos are over what two weeks old now because i hadn't seen a beaver dam since last sunday i ain't talking about the sunday that just passed but sunday before last is the last time i seen a beaver dam so man when i was out of work i got a lot of footage <laughs> so i know you, a lot of you guys been you know continually saying you're glad that i'm doing better oh yeah i'm doing a whole lot better way better than i am in the videos that you watching <laughs> i'm ready to get back to normal work at the beaver dams now so uh i guess that won't be until this coming weekend because i was busy this past weekend with the funeral and things so we're gonna get back to normal schedule after a while but in the meantime keep on watching these videos that i'm pumping out where we were out there checking out the scene all right <laughs> hey make sure you smash the like button for us throw a comment in the comment section let me know what's on your mind jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father you guys stay blessed you guys keep encouraged and as always we'll see you in the next one